Shut up and sit down. Do you like power? Do you like hour? Then you love the power hour. Good day and welcome to the power hour. We're back. This isn't Power Hour 20, this is Power Hour 15. <laughs> Five less than 20, I'll have you know. <laughs> but enough about that. Chris, how the bloody hell are you? I am feeling keen for Power Hour 15, man. <laughs> but uh, enough about me. Adam, how the bloody hell are you? I'm not too bad, lads. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've been on. I, I don't know when. When was the last time I was on? Was it July, was it? Yeah, I think it was after uh, Monday Night Tuesday un. That you uh, you uh, you you joined us, and then we uh, we had a we had our COVID related absence. Yeah, yeah, we all got the long COVID. Yeah, didn't we? yeah, imminently and then absently and and all that lot just uh, kept prematurely yeah, kept leaving kept the, bubble back to the bubble. And, yeah, terrible. Yeah, just kept going the pub all the time. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the tough nuts were uh, refusing to stay. They kept saying they were gardening statues and then going to the pub, and and weren't having a substantial yeah. meal. And weren't wearing masks either. I know. I know. Yeah, well, it's good, but it's good to be back anyway, guys. Um, nice to nice to talk to you again. No. On the airwaves, anyway. Absolutely, and uh, glad to have you back on, Adam. And uh, we'll be, of course, reviewing uh, Monday Night Tuesday free. We've got a lovely little interview with Basically, and uh, and and we'll be speaking to him later on, as well as covering some other topics, as well as your favourite polypandemic update. I can't wait for that update. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Cannot wait. But yeah, let's... Uh, in typical Power Hour style, let's have some music first. Barn dancers, the town Barnstable. He's off his Barnet. He's off his fucking Barnet. Moxley. This is Courtney Barnet with Pedestrian at Best.
Courtney Barnett with pedestrians at best. So we'll have a little review of of uh, wrestling in the uh, well across the pond. Um, so uh, the Marks down in Georgia have got their uh, full gear pow- pay per view tonight, and in, in classic Power Hour style, we're going to be <laughs> reviewing it or well, previewing it, uh, and then by the time this show comes out, it will happen. <laughs> <laughs> So, so uh, quarantine yeah, on the power, I love it. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean we'll make our predictions come and laugh at, laugh at us after when uh, we've gone on the right. Or, yeah, or it's, um, we go, we just pretend that we've watched it. Like, Jericho, great match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should do, actually. <laughs> Let's do it like that. Let's see if our pre- thing... that make our predictions sound like we've watched it. This is the thing, like, it's like we've got one, one of you that's like, you you are both clued up on what's going on. No, we're not, mate. You got me. Just... <laughs> what's... Yeah, no, but like you got me. He just does not watch it at <laughs> all. I? And then <laughs> I only watch I only watch Monday Night Tuesday, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only show oh. worth watching. That's why. Ab- absolutely. I mean, you don't get the kind of ca- kind of quality character you get in uh, in Monday Night Tuesday as you do in you know eight and the Marks and Georgia. They they haven't got likes of oil. They haven't got basically. Um, you know, they, they don't get those kind of characters. So no, um, exactly those deep characters exactly, so. who yeah, aren't just based on level. a name. Mm-hmm. So what? So, so um, what was your so favourite run, run match the <laughs> yesterday? <at> full gear. <laughs> uh, well, I'd have to say <laughs> any of them were good. Uh, I'd no, have to no, say uh, the best of AEW. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Kevin Tampler, that's just the band that Marks and Georgia could have been. <laughs> um, but no, it's um, so there's quite a few um, good matches actually. So to be fair, there's 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 um, there's, there's quite a few good matches on. Um, so you've got Hangman versus um, Kenny Omega for the uh, winner gets the shot at the uh, the strap. Um, We've been really good in this, building them up from a tag team, uh, splitting up and and then feuding again. I um, think it's it's kind of set up for Kenny to go full heel. Um, or if we're watching the show, I loved it when Kenny went full yeah, heel. Yeah, I was going to say I loved it when. Yeah, that was my favorite. Kenny Omega won. <laughs> the Atlantic Falcons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Denver Broncos. <laughs> uh, you've also got uh, Cody versus Darby Allen. So uh, they're going for that. Um, TNT title match again, which uh, I think we've had done it three or four times now. I think that match, and um, yeah, I don't quite get Darby Allen. I think he's uh, I, I think he came in a bit hot, but ultimately he's doing the same kind of shtick again. Of I'm gonna I'm gonna do something mad and probably lose the match. Uh, the old Jeff Hardy treatment. I don't mind him. I think he's all right. Yeah, and so it was that he uh, he did something stupid again and lost. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, wasn't it the most stupid thing you guys have ever seen? Um, no. Well, <laughs> well, someone who doesn't uh, um, who doesn't watch the Marks and Georgia. I've only watched like I think I watched like the first pay per view. Was it? It was the the one that was gambling themed. <laughs> That's how much. The, 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 I think most of them are. Are they all? Are they all gambling? All Double in, or nothing. All in. They're all in uh, Vegas, weren't they? Yeah. 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 That's true. Uh, yeah. So. Did they suffer from a similar thing with um, the Fed in New York, where like they just don't put anyone over clean and it's all screwy finishes and that kind of stuff? No, or... they're they're quite good actually at doing, um, especially on pay per view, actually doing um, clean finishes. To be honest with you, yeah, because it's just like I, I know. The... What, what don't do worry, the I've learned how Polly, to bleep. Polly, get 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 the loudest <laughs> bleep you have. No, that's too loud. Yeah, I just know they suffer from that, where it's just like, you don't know, like, there's no sort of peck and order. It, there's just, you know, there's the main, the mid card, and then there's the, um, you know, the title picture, and then, but, like, in sort yeah. of those little mini divisions, just sort of everyone just, you know, screw finish, and there's no sort of real peck and order. You don't know who's, no, you, you know, who's supposed to dominate. Yeah, no, and I agree. Kind of and I, yeah, but I think the problem the Marks and Georgia have are um, the fact that they, they put so much reliance on, on Dark, and then don't actually review it uh, on the main show. So I know people do watch it, but you'll, you'll get kind of someone come on um, Dynamite and they'll say, oh, he's won, you know, 20 matches in a row on Dark. It's like, well, why haven't you, like, at least done a segment? Like, it wouldn't take them two minutes to do a very quick recap of Dark and catch you up what's going on there. Because mm. it's so hard to say to someone, someone's done this. It's like, well, I don't know if they yeah. have. Or is it like um, with Goldberg know, they, where he's, like, he's yeah, won 100 matches? Yeah. <laughs> He was on six last week. 
Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, I, 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 I get you know they want to keep them separate and, and make you watch Dark, but they still should do a kind of a recap of what's going on there. Yeah. Um, I think I think the main match that I am looking forward to, uh, it's been building across the internet for three, four years. Uh, it's FTR versus the Young Bucks. So uh, yeah, that 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 has real. It, it's one of them. It has the ability to be one of the greatest tag matches of all time, but equally, um, it's been so anticipated for so long that you kind of get the impression that it might not live up to expectation just because how can it yeah and you've got a lot still, going against you with, with the lack of crowd and that kind of thing as well well, well yeah i think yeah. also you got to think of is if they're gonna eventually have this match you're glad that it's in that company and not the other one yeah, yeah. like which, yeah. which yeah, 100 yeah, percent wouldn't yeah. have been as good as anyone expect expected to be fair like i did see uh, when i the little bits of um, the Marks and George Ray I've seen, it's like the the fact that they've got the, some of the other wrestlers in the crowd sort of makes it like, it did feel a bit livelier than Oh yeah, the, people um, are back in now as well, man. Like, at a very low, a oh, low percentage, yeah, yeah. but there's defo, like actual yeah. fans there now. Yeah, so yeah, you, you get a bit of atmosphere, there, don't you? So it's not, it's not as bad. Like I don't, I've seen the Thunderdome a couple of times and I didn't really, it didn't really do anything for me. I yeah, feel like I mean, a crowd. what what I'm confused at is if we can have a sold out but socially distanced waterfront arena, why that why they can't have it as well? Absolutely, it's you've just got to go into a, a bubble like we did. Yeah, I, I think you know, just get Richard Madeley, just get him to advise yeah. how he does it. You mainly get three episodes out in the space of six months, but you know you will <laughs> have a crowd, so it's the trade offs that you've got to make in this business. I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and Richard yeah. Madeley. Think there. about it though. Exactly, you don't get Richard Madeley at the Marks and George, do you? Yeah, and 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 think about it as well. You um, you also don't get the fact that you get you might have you know a sh- uh, one show every every month or so, uh, but times that that crowd um and the and the Marks and George's crowd every week, we still get more attendance figures than them. And so, if you take thirty three percent of the Marks and George's crowd and times it by three and three thirds percent. Then that's that your that that's your likelihood to win a sacrifice. That spell. <laughs> it's it spells Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> For you at Monday night Tuesday. Um, yeah, we'll have to get on the Thunderdome at some point. So that's something I did want to talk to you guys about because it's been in the um the wrestling news recently is um all this Twitch shenanigans that's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um we we we, we briefly mentioned it on the Power Hour previously, but uh, obviously now it's it's moved to the point where. Uh, I think that contract's actually taken over now, hasn't it? Yeah, and like Paige was crying on her stream and stuff like that, which was why is she signed? With them? I don't know because like, isn't she? Is she still doing like um, like round table Paige stuff? Here. Paige here. Paige <laughs> Is she still doing like round table stuff? I don't know. Uh, she was doing um that show that Punk was on on um, oh, yeah. Fox, wasn't she? Was it um, what what was it? Uh, Backstage, or something like that. They, she was on that for a few times. Mm. Yeah, but like, if she's not doing anything with them, and you know, she's getting most of her money from Twitch, then why is she even employed? I don't why aren't they just letting her go? Right, we'll take you off the wage bill. You just do that full time. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any danger of actually wrestling again. Um, I think they. I think her injury is pretty severe, so she's mm. she going to wrestle again. So um, I don't think they have to worry about kind of holding her. I think I think there was always, you know, with Daniel Bryan, I think they, they had that fear that um, he he wouldn't give a shit if he was on, if he was under contract with them, they could control yeah. him. Whereas mm. if, if he actually let him go, he'd go. I don't care. I I'm I'm happy to kind of. I think his was go, different though because it wrestling. was like a couple of doctors said he probably could, and then the double, the feather New York doctor said he he. Um, he wasn't allowed to because it's a concussion, yeah. isn't it? That's the problem, and that's and that's the problem because yeah, no, the problem is as well. I think they were also worried that he would go to like the Marks in Georgia and say, "Listen, they've said I mm. can't in the Fed in New York, but I'll I'll wrestle for you, you know, two three times a year, and uh, it's not it's not like I'm doing it all the time, but you know, the kind of the the mainstream attention that I'm oh, bringing yeah. over. Yeah, but it, um, it's different to the Paige situation because yeah, Paige well. literally it, she just can't wrestle yeah, it's anymore because her neck's yeah. fucked. Yeah, it's like an that's edge. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, though, yeah so, so, came back. yeah. She seems yeah, sort of head screwed later, on now, yeah, doesn't she? Anyway, about like I think she's quite aware. Like yeah. I can make money doing X, Y, and Z. So I'm I not suppose as well they had the uh, the film, didn't they? they? They heavily promoted the films. So maybe that's part of the contract that she can't leave because of yeah, the, yeah, the, the input they had into the film. All those amazing <laughs> productions. 
What they keep putting the on. What? The what? The Who Productions? Are you sure? <laughs> no, Are you sure? About the New York Productions. <laughs> oh, okay. Get the bleeper out. God, I can't wait to <laughs> fucking edit in this. <laughs> no. It's louder than yeah, the sun. Yeah, I do on purpose. Do you know people listen to podcasts till they fall asleep? Uh-uh. You're not listening to this and fall asleep. Wait, <laughs> 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 You're making more work for yourself it's now. Bad. <laughs> it's so much quicker to say. It's just, yeah. Oh, well, keep an eye on it. We should, we should call it Finn. <laughs> it's the Finn and the Mig. <laughs> and the Mig. <laughs> and the Pow. And packed. Packed. <laughs> Fallen cow tamper. <laughs> uh, oh, bloody hell. But there's a, I mean, the Fed in New York, they've got their, um, one of the big four pay-per-views coming up. Uh, and probably the one that's suffered the most, really, I think, in the last... Um, well, maybe 20 or so years, uh, Survivor Series. So uh, it was one of the traditional four, along with Royal Rumble, Mania, and SummerSlam. But uh, I think now, to be honest with you, kind of Money in the Bank's really taken um, mm. taken over Survivor Series. No uh, one... And it's, it's weird, I suppose, Survivor Series, because it's it's now kind of in that death spot between September and December where the, you know they're, they're normally against college football uh, and, and no one really gives a shit about it um, until, you know... So Rumble runs around in uh, in January. Yeah, I've never really seen Survivor since I was a kid. I've never really seen Survivor Series as one of the big pay per views. It's it's bigger than other pay per views, but I don't see it as like I don't really get what the concept is behind it anymore. Like, yeah, I mean, what when it was the Big Four, it used to be a really clever way of of, of like teasing various matches. So. so um, they used to use it as like a kind of barometer for the uh, Royal Rumble. So yeah. when they would, um, you know, when when they they, they had, a, had a good idea who they wanted to to have in the main event, um, they'd be able to kind of put them on opposite teams and then they'd kind of test the crowd reaction. Yeah. Um, and then also maybe some undercard kind of one to one to see what how people react and see how they, they gel together. So I think I think I think it made sense back then. But now you know, there's so much. Um, wrestling on a, on a week-to-week basis uh, and so many pay-per-views that it, it's kind of lost that vigor where you know you, you don't get you don't have the need for you know a five on five match because you're seeing the same people wrestle every week anyway yeah and it's 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 just like there's so many pay-per-views now that like it, it's hard to build a feud to go into survivor series when it's just like well we just saw a pay-per-view but they just, yeah i agree like really they repeat recently. it like not even just every pay-per-view like Every fucking week between that, but I, I didn't watch it. But apparently, Sasha and Bailey had the championship match last night on SmackDown. Yeah. Really? Why? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I don't know uh, what happened in it, but I'm pretty sure that that, that like it was. Yeah, yeah I, I'll admit I haven't I haven't checked the results from SmackDown last night because um, I was too busy uh, previewing and reviewing uh, Full Gear. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's um, yeah. I don't get that. It's like. You know, Sasha and Bailey was a really, really good storyline for my mind. I, I thought it was really good, really kind of intense, and they did a really good slow burn. So why have two matches in the space of like you know three weeks, especially when you've got a pay per view coming up? I don't see why your main champions are, are wrestling like, on free TV. Put them in a tag match or something, just something that like builds the feud. Well, they were but, already like, in really moment, they the belts. Yeah, you know, or just, yeah, just, that's just true. don't have them at all. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, enough. There's, there's enough. To, there's enough videos videos out there. There's enough for, for a week, yeah. and it won't affect the story. You just show a fucking clip of last week. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. They've got they've got enough women in the in the division now that they could they could easily like, you know spotlight a few others and have them have like a ten minute match. Easily and then, have done this you know, over this quarantine, and had more like mm. young like younger talent coming in, just trying it out without the crowd being dicks to them. And if it didn't work, fine. Yeah. Five minute match. Who cares? Sorry, Fed New York. You don't remember what happened two weeks ago, anyway. Yeah. They're... So just every every three matches, just have a rookie match. Yeah, I I, mean, I, I just don't get why you, they, they're so insistent on having these matches all over time. But yeah, I mean, you've got anyway. you've got you know what is it five hours of of telly to write and fill, and you know they just I don't think they can be bothered building up the you know the bottom of the card. It's not really. hard though, is it? Because it, it gives it thing is it gives your top guys a week off. Or like, say your top yeah, six no. guys, you have three of them on on a show every two weeks or whatever, so they have a week off. But like, there's still good names on. Just build the lower ones. You don't need mm. your top guys on all the time. But in the in the world of streaming, it's just like if if there's a match on that you 
are not interested in, you just skip it nowadays. Whereas you didn't yeah. back in the day. You like back in the day, Raw was on a, sp- a specific time. Either you tape it and watch it later, or you watch the it at the time and you sort of shit, stop though, to watch it. Really. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, if you actually look at the, um, the, the on U- on YouTube, they actually put on pretty much like I'd say seventy percent of the show. Um, so you know when it's a when it when it's a you know a standard Raw or SmackDown, you don't necessarily need to watch the whole match because you, you're not expecting you know a, a quality TV no. match. Um, normally you're going to get you know a pay, the pay per view, so you can literally watch the the entire kind of show in about in about 25, 30 minutes via yeah, YouTube. True. Yeah, that's what I normally end up doing anyway. It's it's hard. It's I mean if you watch if you watch it live, it's not as bad. So obviously you can't skip. Mm. But like if I it's just hard for us because if it was on at a normal time, I'd watch like I'd watch it. I'd probably watch it all the time. Cuz it's just on. Yeah. Yeah. But then like if you're tired or if you wait for the next day to watch a pay-per-view, it's very hard to sit there and watch it while just skipping to the very end of the main event. And it will be spoiled for you on well, Twitter. Well, I used or, to try and avoid it all, all day, trying to like I've, I've got it where I've avoided it. But I'm sitting there through mm. a match that's been going on for like, twi- like I don't know, it seems like a long time. And you think, yeah. ah, I'm just going to skip to the end of this match. Then you watch the little promo in the middle. Then you skip to the end of the next match. Yeah. Unless you've unless you I saw think- on Reddit that it was like a five star match and you you'll watch the whole thing. You just yeah. skip through it. But I, I, so, I, I still come back to the, the problem of having too many pay-per-views because I, I think it hurts Raw as well. Be, just because, like, you know, nothing's probably going to happen on Raw. Like, nothing major is going to happen on Raw because if they're going to do something major, they're going to do it on a pay-per-view. Yeah. And then, you know, the yeah. pay-per-views are already watered down, but, like, then it waters down, like, the main show as well. So it's, I just think just less overall would be better for the company. But, you know, they're not yeah. going to do that. So... So ultimately, TLDR, fuck the Fed in New York, fuck the Mox in Georgia, watch Monday Night Tuesday. Exactly. We're much better and much shorter. Absolutely. And as long as you click on the video, you can skip it all. As long as we get those precious, give precious us a views. Like. Put it on in the background. Watch subscribe. it again later. <laughs> like, share and subscribe. Hit our bells. Uh, Hit the bell Craig. icon. Polly, song. Craig, Craig, Craig. Moxley, <laughs> this is Craig. Well, I mean, this is King Hanna with Meal Deal. <laughs> <laughs>
that was King Hannah with Meal Deal. And Polly? Yeah? We've won! (laughs) (laughs) In good news, and about time, we finally won a court case. Legal Lee has finally done good work for us. We're not going to be Monday Night Craig. We're not going to be Power Craig or the Craig Hour. We have actually retained the rights to Monday Night Tuesday and the Power Hour. Craig had a devastating loss in court. (laughs) And we're allowed to play his song, which is yeah, fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so great victory and well done to Legally. His first ever court victory, I believe. <laughs> well done. Well done to all involved. And well done to yeah. Craig as well. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for, uh, for keeping a, a good spirit after. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> thanks, lads. Thanks, lads. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Polly, it's time for your pandemic updates. Woo! Oh. Woo! Um, what's what's been going on in my life? Well, Ross, I'll tell you what's been going on in my life. I can have a bevy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm already yes. on my third of the so day. So where did you come overall, Chris, in the um the rankings? I came third. I came oh, third. That's not bad. Um, who came? Who came bottom so, two? Who came on the right? Yeah. So, so basically, in the, we'll I'll try and do another episode where we'll go into more detail, but. I fi- I finished two kilometers ahead of Nile. <laughs> Oof. I planned I planned the ride so I'd finish like within like a little bit of him. So yeah, I came third, dead in the middle, but this is not that embarrassing. And Terry came last. Been injured all month. I've got a I've got a I've had a really bad Achilles injury. Like my Achilles is all swollen, and I've had to just keep pushing my way through it all month. So I've been in agony. Yeah. But that's all over now, so I can just put my feet up and have a bed. Yeah. And no hot wings. Well, I'm gonna. I probably will try one. But I won't have to eat the whole thing. <laughs> is Terry gonna go? Is Ter- Terry gonna do it then? Because he came last, so he has to eat the hot wing. Hundred percent, he'll do okay. it. Yeah. he'll do it. Sound. But when, but, um, like, when is the different question? Because obviously yeah. Boris has put us into lockdown too. Yeah, you could just send them it and then get them to film it. <laughs> send them a wing in the post. No, I want to see him. R- ring, see him ring, there. ring up his local takeaway. <laughs> well, we've got, well, we've got, um, we bought a championship belt as well. Oh, big gold! Ooh. So I've got, so I've got that here, and I might be, I might just refuse to give it up. <laughs> <laughs> Come and take it off me! <laughs> Stop the count! Stop the count! <laughs> yeah. When, when I was tutoring the other day, because like I've got to be on like online, I was like, I've got big gold out, and I was like, I've got to be able to wear this if you like do your work or whatever. Paraphrasing. And he went, he said, what's that belt? I went, it's not a belt, it's a championship title. <laughs> it's not a skirt, that's a belt. And I was like... <laughs> Fucking Mark. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I've got to try, if I could get this incorporated into this, like, I've got to do it. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, no, but... but yeah, apart I, from like, that, I'm, I'm, I've got nothing to really update everyone on. Yeah, and like I was saying, we're, Boris has put us back into lockdown, yeah. um, so everything is kind of closed down again, so it's... Uh, it's tough, but I'm actually using this time rather than last uh, lockdown where I, I just went, fuck it, I'm going to eat and drink loads, trying to get into a bit of shape. So uh, I've been uh, doing uh, the Joe Wicks uh, videos on uh, YouTube um, on a diet. So uh, I'm, I'm down a kilo and a bit in, in about five, five, five six days. Oh, so, lovely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Body coach. Yeah. I've just been trying to, I've been trying to run. I've got like a running app. So I'm trying to just build up to doing like a 5K maybe, just see how it goes. So is it couch to five? No, no. Just got the um, I think it's the Under Armour app. It just tracks your run and like your speed. So I'm oh, just yeah. gonna try and yeah. I, I can do two k now, but I need to just be able to do two k without stopping. With- I had um, I had the two the five the, the couch to five k app, and you can choose who you want as like your coach on it. Mm. So like there's some shit ones like Joe Wiley and that's like why the fucking want it to fucking <laughs> get on with Richard Madeley. Uh, Polly, are you, are you sure you weren't on the five k to couch app? <laughs> <laughs> Probably was, yeah. Uh, and well, the person I picked, I picked you know Michael Johnson, who was at like oh yeah. But I didn't realise, I'm like, <laughs> like I was going on runs because I thought it was Magic Johnson. <laughs> And I was like, I'll do anything for you, Magic. I was probably running. And then realised it was Michael Johnson. I just stopped running. I thought you were going to say the Wrong Michael Johnson, Johnson the ex, the, the ex um, Man City footballer. Oh, oh yeah. Fucking hell, he really, he really is. Fucking 5K count him. I don't even know what happened to him. He didn't even start him. with 5K. 
He's a he, he opened a few bars. There's a um, near, nearish where I used to live in Manchester. There's a he has a, a, a quite a nice craft beer, craft uh, ale bar. To be honest with you. Um, so he went into the. So he's, uh, the he's doing quite well. <laughs> yeah, he's doing quite well for himself. He owns a pay, he, he, he owns a patisserie. It's almost like having loads of money <laughs> set you up for for success. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's all you Strange need that. is a load of money and you'll be successful. Yeah. That, that's that's the key ingredient I find. I success. love that. You know success. when when there's always those articles that come out where it's like I started the business and and got off the ground and all that and then you just wait. And you just read the article because you know it's coming, and then it's going to say, yeah. "I was given a loan by my dad." Yeah. <laughs> or the the classic, um, you know, money is an energy, and a lot of it's always flown my way, especially when my parents died. Yeah, <laughs> the hustle and grind, but also getting loads yeah. of money off your mum and dad. Yeah, I mean, the amount of like magazine articles for that where it says, um, "Here's how I bought a house at 18. It's like, well, you know, I inherited fifty k from my gram. It's like, hang on, that's that's not a, this is not helpful advice. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's just it, yeah. it it's all it's always literally like you can, you know, it's coming as soon as you read one of those articles, yeah. and then like you, yeah, there's never anything. You've good got enough. Boris with all the um, you know, with the the lunch fiasco, kids' school lunches fiasco, and then you've just got I like yeah. the, some of the things I saw on Twitter were just like. Like some woman said, why don't you just forage for apples? Yeah. And I'm like, what if you live in like you a live tower in a, block in a city in a city London? Yeah, in, in a tower block, where are the apples near you? East London. And like, you can't just <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right where there, are right? the apples near you? <laughs> where are the apples? That could be the the campaign, the Tories campaign. <laughs> what, we, what we want is more apple trees. Yeah. You can have an <laughs> apple app where it's just got like, where are the apple trees near you? <laughs> where can you forage? Where can like? you forage? And also, if you ate apples every day, would you die? <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively apples. Yeah, just apples. You died from being too healthy. <laughs> His teeth were too white. Too well. <laughs> the dentist. How many never uh, came? <laughs> or, or just get bladdered. You turn into cider, and you'd be absolutely bladdered. Yeah, day. yeah. That, that's probably what it'd be more used for <laughs> people you know, living exclusively off Apple and Apple. Yeah, pie. but I don't know about you guys, but this lockdown does not feel like the last one at all. No, people aren't taking it anywhere near as no. seriously. Um, what what I actually really also take the last one seriously. You say that well, though, but no. like like I remember it was me. I think it was my dad's birthday, and I met up with him on the docks, and we had like a glass of um, prosecco, like with me sister and all that. Ooh. Ooh, very fancy but like it was like we were so nervous doing it we were like all right put the glass down and then like pour it out and then like we'll wash the glass after it and all that like we took it like really seriously at the start yeah but yeah now i'm just like yeah i'm still in work i'm st- I'm literally doing the exact what's, same thing um, i was doing last week well what's what's weird is um you know obviously liverpool has the uh the pilot testing for um like the whole city so I, I went to book one yesterday, mm. thinking it, you know, and it said, oh, it's a different website if you're um, like in Liverpool. So I went through it all, mm. and yes, yeah, so all the questions are, you know, what, why are you applying for this? You got symptoms? Like, no, I'm just doing, you know, Pilot City. And it's like, well, they gave me a lot of options where to go, and none of them are actually like the the Pilot Centers because they say to you, if you haven't got symptoms, don't go to like a, a proper COVID center because like you might get it from going there. Yeah, yeah. The army ones um, are like just for people who haven't got symptoms, I think. Yeah, exactly. But the website makes no distinction between the two. So, like, I know loads of people who have booked, like, to go to like, the airport. Yeah. And, like, so they get, like, the quick, like, you know, w- within an hour test. They're getting, like, the full on, like, proper test, which takes, like, you know, like, two, three days to come back. Because it's just not Yeah, clear that's what happened to my cousin. She just, she went this morning and they went to the NHS one instead. So yeah. So they're not going to get the results for crap. ages. Like, there's no, they're, they're honestly so bad. And you have to isolate after it as well. Yeah, exactly. So it's just. So, like, people who think they can just pop it in for a quick hour well, until you get the results. Yeah, and it, it's a couple of days that one, but I think the um, yeah. the army ones are really quick. Yeah, well, my my, my missus went um, about two three hours ago, uh, and it came within the hour like so uh, negative, thankfully. But um, yeah, it's re- it is really good, but you just be so careful and make sure you are going to the right one. Yeah, because uh, the website, the government website, doesn't give any real clear advice. I'm gonna get mine when it calms down a little bit, and there's not gonna be as many people queuing up. Well, then actually, when when she went, uh, she asked asked the army guy, and he said, "Oh, they only had 160 people come in in the last three hours." Mm-hmm. Yeah, like my my um, auntie was queuing up for like ten minutes, I think. So yeah, there's no, it's yeah. not like there's loads of people going just yet. 
Mm. Yeah. Anyway, get tested. The test. <laughs> Shout out to the testing advice. community. <laughs> the what community? The testing community. All right. All right. Huh. Cool. Right. Should we have a song then, lads? Yeah. Okay. Like the legend of the Phoenix, the order of the Phoenix, Phoenix Marie Moxley. <laughs> this is Too Young by Phoenix. <laughs> with too young and uh, well we're going to review Monday Night Tuesday 3 what a card it was uh, several months in the in the making uh, and it did not disappoint I, I was thoroughly sports entertained certainly worth the wait guys I don't know about you but I, I really enjoyed it yeah it was good wasn't it yeah it was, yeah, it was, it was fantastic good to get back to doing it yeah no, I know I've enjoyed you know I've enjoyed commentating over that one some really big matches yeah I mean <laughs> Yeah, we opened with a Chunky Monkey's promo, and you know he had some strong words, some strong words indeed, uh, for the MNT Cosmos, and um, and then we, we got uh, his open challenge, and uh, of course Superstar answered it, and uh, was was sent packing very quickly after. Yeah, it was nice to, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice to see the Superstar back, and you know he's he's starting to um, develop his character a little bit. He had um, stars yeah, on his like undies. Yeah, he had stars on his undies. He had um, matching boots as well, I think. So yeah, it was nice to see him. But you know, yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's gained some valuable XP in that match. So uh, you might might have unlocked some uh, some gloves. Who knows? Yeah, he might. Have, yeah, he might have unlocked some gloves from the the MNT store online store. Coming so, soon. Maybe. 
Yeah. He needs to uh, probably purchase some moves, I think, from what I saw. But, uh, you know, that, that all comes. Yeah, I don't think he got one move off on the Chunky Monkey, which is, you know, understandable given the Chunky Monkey's a bit of a monster, isn't he? But... You don't challenge the Chunky Monkey, do you? No, but, you know, it was good to see the superstar, but it's also, we might not see him for a while after that. He got taken Hopefully. out on the stretcher. Okay. So, but yeah, it was a good start to the episode, but, you know, heinous actions from the monkey. I think you'll all agree. There's no need in that. Absolutely. No, there's no need to attack him after the match. No, he's, he's just kind of throwing his, uh, his, his considerable weight around. Yeah. Yeah, he's made this point, yeah. but, you know, he's, he's done Chester in the week before. The, the episode before and then he's done the superstar and you know I just wonder who's next who's next on his hit list well you'll have to tune yeah. in mm, i to wait and see on that yeah. one but we, uh, we we crowned our first ever uh, champions the tag team champions it was the Twin Towers yeah. they, uh, they dominated that ladder match the well, size you know, of them the absolute size of them like I'm not surprised compared to the the drag racers and the tough nuts you know you got Absolute man well, mountains. Mean, yeah, the, the tough nut. The tough nut spent more time trying to fight the drag racers than actually um, trying to stop uh, the twin towers winning the belts. It was a, it was, it was, it was a bold tactic, um, and it's one that didn't really pay off. No, yeah, I think you said that on commentary, Chris. That that the the fact that they look like statues makes the tough nuts not want to attack them. Yeah, they look like they were just a. Fan- yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Yeah, but you know they're not part of British heritage, are they? So they should be trying to um, attack them rather than defending them. Yeah, I think I think there was uh, some 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 confusion. Um, some lessons learned, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah, and and you know I think it will turn you most of the confusion at least uh, in in racist and uh, Eddie's eyes was Danny Bolt. He, they they said you know you 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 didn't have your eyes on the prize and uh, they gave him a bit of a stern telling off. Yeah, but you know we're gonna see a lot of the tough nuts coming up in the next couple of yeah weeks. I mean they're a cohesive team that not, nothing's going to break them up they're going to be uh, right back to winning ways yeah soon, and sure. you know we didn't see racist um, at ringside because he wasn't allowed because it's a ladder match but you know it, he'll, he should be back next time and we'll see we'll see what the tough nuts can do yeah. going forward well, well I think without giving any spoilers away I, I think we may see a member in the next episode but we'll have more about that in the next couple of weeks yeah just stay tuned Ooh. for that guys Stay very tuned for that. That's going to be some some top exclusive news. Uh, but then we had um, we had the triple threat, didn't we? With... We had the triple threat match between the Kitty Fiddler Headmaster, and it was basically who came out on top. And we'll be yeah. hearing, we'll be hearing from him, like, him later. Yeah, uh, yeah, can't wait for I'm that. Forward to that. But yeah, it was a good match, and you know, I think the Headmaster probably could have won, but his his back went like a couple of times. Yeah, he was setting them up for the special. Yeah, he was setting the special measures up at least twice, didn't he? And he just his back went. Yeah, yeah, which is a shame. He just couldn't couldn't stand up. But basically, he took the opportunity. Um, Got the egg, and, and put himself into that into that power hour um, title picture. Uh, but then, of course, we had um, well once again, Man Ranchler fiddling around where he didn't need to. Yeah, you know, he, he attacked them in week two, and then he he came back and tried to attack him again. And then just got tossed out the ring. It's just, it's getting embarrassing at this point, guys. Yeah, I have to, I have to agree. I don't know what you can do really to change this. Yeah, I don't. But yeah, we'll, 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 he's just we'll, too small. Yeah. I think, I think that's <laughs> we'll, the problem. We'll feel those questions. If you're a sp- if you if you're trying to imitate a spider, it's not the animal that you really want to be trying to in, like no. go at. They're too small. No, and basically his bird hates spiders. So and you no, know, so he's really um. So it's basically yeah, yeah. But you know, he, he even, even though so basically hates spiders, is Leanne is his girlfriend hates them even more. So, <laughs> and he, you know, she's always asking him to put the put a glass over them. So I think that's what basically he's been doing. He's just been putting a glass over Man Ranchler and you know, yeah. squatting him out the door. We'll hear much more from him. We'll hear much more for him uh, in the interview in the next. Can't segment, wait, guys! Which, uh, I'm excited for. And then, of course, it was the main event, the uh, the battle royal, and uh, and a spot in the the fatal four way uh, at the new pay per view coming up, and and that was uh, yeah, that was fantastic. That was um, probably the best one we've had so yeah, far. One, one of the closest ones we've yeah, had so far. Really good. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, very quickly, you know, Mohammed Mentum, he I couldn't went believe very that. Quickly. The rabbi went very quickly. Yeah, well, I don't think um, Mohammed Mentum just got off the ground. He didn't get going. I think if he gets going, no, no. it's gonna be hard to stop him. You can't stop him. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah true. But then, and then, then it was down to the overgiver and the, and Greg, and, and they had a, a real, a real titan uh, fight, didn't they? And they they went at it, but eventually Greg prevailed. 
Yeah, it was it was good to see. But you know the the overgiver wasn't was gracious in defeat and w- wished um, Greg a long life and wished us all a long life. So that's very nice of him. And, and all the best. Absolutely. Yeah. So yes, that that was very 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 pleasant from him. So we enjoyed all that. Uh, enjoyed enjoyed the match and uh, and of course cameraman Steve uh, had another running with Greg. Had two runnings with Greg. To get like Greg went for and, him in the entrance and and when he won as well. So we need to make we need to make sure that. Uh, that cameraman Steve it, it keeps firmly away. Uh, we need to make sure that Greg's aware of social distancing at all times. Is would they, do you think it would help if we put some fake tan on cameraman Steve? Because uh, he I is think a bit pasty, cameraman Steve he? he's a bit pasty and he looks a bit flumpy. I'd, I'd say like his I skin mean, is quite flumpy in texture. So he has got a square head. Yeah, he's very square and he's quite um, he's quite powdery as well. Mm. So you know, powder puff. Yeah, so maybe um, that's why Greg before. keeps going for him, and he's. I, I don't know why Greg would be going for him because we give him enough flumps. I don't think mm. I don't see how he's still hungry. Is full done? Yeah, that's true. So maybe I don't know. Maybe we need to order more flumps. Yeah, but we'll pick it up imminently. Uh, and and that was the card. Uh, you know, really looking forward. I'm just glad to be back. Uh, friend of the show, Richard Mayley, of course, was there again. Oh, yeah, thanks, Richard. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, keep 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 venturing up. Uh, bring Judy next time. Why not? Yeah, but well, he's probably listening now. So, um, hope you're enjoying the show, Richard. Yeah, absolutely. We will have to get you on the show one day, Richard, and looking forward to that and and hearing absolutely. from you uh, in person in, in the Little Lounge. Um, but yeah, um, you know, so we've got basically. Um, I believe he's downstairs. So, um, so Adam, do you want to go and get him and, and bring him? Yeah. Up? Uh, just while I'm down there, guys, I, I'm sorry about this. I really need the toilet. So okay, um, I'm just going to let him in, okay. and then I'm going to go to the toilet. So hopefully it won't be too long. I don't, don't miss anything. So, um, yeah, I'll be right back up after that. Have you got a song before you go? No worries. Yeah, I've got a song. Hang on. Lava Dog, Lightning Mouse, Laser Cow, Moxley. <laughs> this is Thundercat with Them Changes. Thank you. 
that was Thundercat with Them Changes. And we're very, very happy to be joined by friend of the show and MNT wrestler, basically. Basically, welcome to the Lizard Lounge. Alright, alright lads, how's it going? It's good to be back. Oh, it's great to hear from you, Lee. Yeah, it's been a long time, eh? um, just, you know, we have we were in bubble for ages, it was dead boring, cause, and, you know, couldn't even see my bird, and so, you know, it was just really boring. Yeah, it was, it was... Didn't, couldn't, couldn't go and see the lads, couldn't, um, couldn't do anything, just had to stay in bubble with, you know, Greg just eating everything, it was just really annoying. Yeah, it cost us a fortune, that. Yeah, it wasn't on, was it? And and just just yeah, yeah, and uh, Adam is a uh, is 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 having uh is in the toilet, so that's why basically he's here. Um, Adam is interviewing him, but uh, hopefully he'll be here before the end of the interview. Hopefully. So um, so I think the first question from me is obviously we've had a lot of interaction between yourself and uh, and Man Ranchler over the last few few weeks. Uh, you know, why do you think he's so obsessed with you? I don't know, mate. You know, we had we had match on on first first episode in Battle Royal. And I threw him out. It just that's what you're supposed to do. So I I, I just threw him out, and I I don't know why he's so angry at me. I was just doing what I had to do, but you know, the, in the next ep- second episode, I didn't even have a match. You know, I I just came to just to watch and cheer on the lads, but and then he just he just attacked me out of nowhere. So I, I battered him, and just walked away, and I thought that'd be the end of it. But then you know he tries to attack me again, and. You know, he's doing his best, but I'm just, he's just too small, and I just keep beating him up, and I, I just wish he'd just leave me alone. I, I just, I don't like spiders, so why, can, why can, doesn't he just leave me alone? Can you hear that? Is, that? is that noise? No, what is that noise? It's creepy, that, isn't it? Maybe it's Yeah, maybe, maybe playing a jingle on his phone or something while he's, while he's having a, a wee. Uh, well, any, anyway, um, Polly? Yeah, so uh, it's great to have you back, basically. Um, so obviously you were in the... You were in on one of the episodes. You you had the triple threat match, which involved uh, which you which you which you won. So you're you're going to be in the power, for the Power Hour Championship very soon, on a later episode. We'll we'll talk about that probably next time. Um, but in the next episode, Monday Night Tuesday, there's going to be the next triple threat, and that's going to be between the Rabbi Mikey Shornals and Mohammed Mentum. The winner will face you for the belt. So I just want to know what you think about the match. How do you think you've got on so far, and who who do you want to face? Well, you know they're all good lads. I, you know when we were in bubble, I got on with all of them. They they're all nice lads. Not not the rabbi particularly. I you know he just kept talking about Judaism and it was it's just dead boring, <laughs> really. And so you know I, I'm not I'm not into all that religion <laughs> stuff. So but the other two, you know, good lads. You know. Mo, uh, I got on with Mo quite well, and then and Mikey, I've known Mikey for years. He's he's a top top geezer, and you know we, I hope he does well. And you know if it does end up being Mikey, I'll I'll look forward to to wrestling with him because he's a good he's a top lad and he's a nice bloke, so so that'll be fine. But you know as long as as long as Man Ranchler is not trying to get involved. In any of this and all that, and just leaves me, leaves me be. And whoever wins, I'll, I'll wrestle them, and hopefully I'll win. Oh, what a great answer, Lee! I think you're such, you're such a humble, humble young, hu- humble young lad. Yeah, like you know, I try to be as nice as possible, you know, with the lads and everything. But my bird says it gives her the ick, so sometimes <laughs> I have to put on persona. But you know, try and act tough, guy. But you know, deep down, you know, I'm soft as shit, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'd appreciate it here in the Lizard Lounge. So, uh, final bit of news for you. Um, we've got the upcoming pay per view, um, and, and as you are such a nice guy, we're actually letting you name the pay per view. Oh, wow! Well, bloody hell, lads! That's that's an honour. Oh, no uh, worries. No, no, no rush. No oh, rush. I don't know what no, to no say. today. You know, uh, have a think about it and let us know at Monday night, Tuesday four. Yeah, I, 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 off the top of my head, I can't really think of it. It's big. Big um, big decision to make, so I'll I'll have a think about that. Maybe maybe I'll if you give me till M and T four, maybe I'll I'll turn up and I'll I'll come out and um and I'll I'll give you an answer then. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, that's fine. The mic is yours, Lee. The mic is yours. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll have a little think about that and get back to you. Like, anyway, lads. I, I, sorry to you know I was late getting in, and because I had to drop my bird off, um. But I'll I've got to head back. 
sorry lads uh, I've got I've got to shoot off I'll, I've got to um, phone Just E to get 20 nugs in for, for Leanne because um, Strictly Strictly is on tonight and you know she loves watching Strictly and she makes me watch it as well so I'll, I'll have to go and order food for her she'll she'll be um, she'll be really angry at me oh, no worries no don't worries. worry mate. don't worry don't worry alright lads I'll, I'll see you later thank you time basically alright good luck with naming the promo uh, he's gone oh, alright uh, did, did I miss Lee? Oh, you just missed him. You, you, you literally walked out the door a second before you walked in. Oh, bloody hell. You know, I got on with him in the bubble, so I was, ah. I was looking forward to seeing him again. Oh, well. Oh, well, maybe next time. Oh, maybe next time. Maybe next time, indeed. Oh, well. Anyway, anything, anything, nothing, nothing, something, something. If you're a fan of spooky, weird intros, this one's for you. This is Everything, Everything with It Was A Monster Ring.
everything with it was a monster ring. So, Polly, how do you think it went? I think it went swimmingly, you know. I think um, it was nice to have a bevy doing this. <laughs> it's I'll been a while. That for sure. Yeah, Probably how our listeners bit. feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's half nine in the morning. Listen to the power hour. I think I'll pour myself a stiff drink. <laughs> have, a, have a nice cognac. So, Let's make this cappuccino Irish. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'll give my opinion. So, Adam, how did the get went? I, I um, it was it was good. I, I enjoyed it. It's it's good to be um, to be back on the show, and you know, I hope to be on more regularly when we have more power, more MNTs coming up. You can There's come lots on to whenever talk about. you want. Can I come on Absolutely. tomorrow? We're doing it tomorrow. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we can re- we can review the we can review um full gear. Yeah, I exactly. thought you were gonna say we can review this podcast. <laughs> Full gear, yeah, full gear. That after Power hours 15. content. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Power 15, how do you think it went? Yeah, I was a bit gutted to miss, um, to miss Lee, but yeah, it's... Um, it happens, lads, it happens. Yeah, I know, just, my stomach's been killing me recently, so, you know, it just needs to, to go to the bog. So was, did you, uh, did well. you play some piano, were you playing, like, piano music or something when you were in there? Um, no. No, I was just watching, mm. like, like, YouTube videos now. Were you watching Ronaldinho's, uh, Best twenty goals. Yeah, yeah. And then I was you watching them. Um, I was listening to Vivaldi for a little bit, and then I was watching. Um, Maybe that's what we heard. Uh, that. Yeah, probably that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's clear things up a bit then. So I'm, I'm relieved anyway. We don't, yeah. we don't want any repeat. No, Adam um, is because he missed the whole interview. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. I'll catch him next time. Wow. So I've got a bit of an embarrassing story, boys. Oh, this, this is a follow-on from Power Hour 14. So Adam. I mean, it doesn't really give me the ick. It's more funny. Maybe give, it might give me the ick if this takes off and people listen back to it and hear the story. <laughs> so I told Adam this quite recently. So, do you know the theme song from Monday Night Tuesday? As you all yeah. do. As you all do. Yeah. So that's basically, we had to look at royalty-free music um, to, like, bypass it. You know, to go on YouTube. So, like, we, obviously, it, I think it's quite a good song we've picked. So... This was a couple of months, this about a month or two ago, Ross. Do you know when you watch porn and it has sometimes, it's like a music video? <laughs> a compilation. A PMV. Do you know, like, like a PMV or a compilation, yeah, and like you can't really hear what's going on, it's like a, a, yeah. a music video over. So, what do you think I'm going to say next? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I had that fucking our theme. Hardest to whack I've ever had to do. <laughs> Did it. Did Couldn't get like, bloody Greg out my like head, com- could I? Do you like compilations? Then you'll love <laughs> compilations! I was like, I can't tear this off. I've got to keep going. So it was the MNT theme, not the um, not the shut up and sit down. No, no, not Power Hour. It was the full on, like, the um, the Monday Night Tuesday the, one. Yeah. Could all you see yeah. in your mind was Greg. Just, just, uh, <laughs> it's just girls getting fucking splattered with fucking jizz. I don't like it. Think of fucking what we are. We gonna book Greg in a month? <laughs> yeah. It'd be uh, even fucking more weirder if he just gone. Good day and welcome to the compilation. We're back. <laughs> We're back. At the oh. end of it, she's just fucking drenched and fucking a gal on the jizz going, So, <laughs> Phoenix, how do you think it went? <laughs> like, yeah, good. Subscribe. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking hell. The jizz oh. community. <laughs> well, the, the, the what stop. community? The jizz community. All right. Ah, ugh, ugh, right. <laughs> it's not my favourite community. Right, did, you, did you see that? Did you see on... Um... On the internet, you know, CNN had uh, the Pornhub open on uh, the big screen. It's they not true. On the election night. I think it was uh, Photoshop, man. Yeah, it no, it was wasn't. Real. It was real. <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> it's, still, it's still real to me, damn it. Yeah. Oh, uh, we probably should mention, guys, before we go off. Like as a got- time of recording, we uh, we still don't know who the president of the United States is. It, it might be. It might be Kanye. <laughs> it, it will be. Yeah. Someone said, like, they, I think they haven't nev- announced Nevada yet because Kanye's won and they don't know how to tell us. Really? Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, obviously not. But... Oh. <laughs> Imagine he actually had. I know. Did you hear him on, um, on Rogan, by the way? 
Oh, it no. was hard to listen to. I just, I, I just kept getting lost. I don't think I've listened to it all yet. The See, him, the thing is, the like, first question was, obviously... "Are you running for presidency?" And then he just started talking about like the music industry being, and stuff. You're being a slave in the music industry. All this. Oh, like, obviously, stuff. like graduation and late registration were really good albums. Uh, yeah. and he just seems to have lost his mind. He's still my, the good albums. My, like... my, my dark, beautiful, t- well, my beautiful dark twist of fantasy is one of the best albums of all time. Yeah, I still need to listen to that properly. Strong it's, words, I've got strong it, words indeed. That much, I've got it on four four disc, or well not disc, but four vinyl album. Oh, I've yeah. got it in four formats. <laughs> I've got it on MP3. <laughs> I've got it on cassette, yeah. <laughs> CD, and I've also got it as vinyl. I've got did it on you braille. See, did you see when Kanye <laughs> went on a big rant? He went on a big rant on Twitter like a month ago uh, about, about like Warner, the music, in, yeah, about the music industry and stuff. And um, he, t- he tried to tweet out a PDF, but he just wrote the title of the PDF and then stop <laughs> PDF at the end. And then his next tweet was, sorry, I don't know, you couldn't just tweet out a PDF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kanye. <laughs> they're, they, they're fucking weird, them, like the, the whole Kanye, Kardashian crew. Just yeah. Different worlds. I've got no time world. for all them Kardashians. I know. I love that tweet that but, you put out recently. Conversely, thanks. conversely, Chris, if they actually will come on the show, we'll ask them. What Chris we love said, them. Um, big fan. Big well, maybe, yeah. maybe basically you'll be able to. I'm sure Courtney oh, follows them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, One of them is Leanne called Courtney. Loves you lot, <laughs> Leanne watches yeah, you I'll all the time. Yeah, if you get them on, then yeah, by all means, yeah, we're, yeah. It's about what we said. Yeah, we love them. But yeah, very weird, very weird people. But uh, I think that's about it from us anyway. From uh, from Monday night Tuesday uh, and the Power Hour Fifteen, I think. Um, but yeah, been a good show. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking yeah. forward to uh, Monday night Tuesday four. I'm looking forward yeah, to um, the next episode, which is Power Hour Twenty. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's like going up like Goldberg, the Mystic episodes, um, Power Hour Ten. Who knows when that'll be out? That's a conspiracy in itself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and of course, Ross. The Power Hour's going on tour. Oh, I didn't mention this, actually, and we nearly forgot to mention it on this one. Um, but yeah, we're going on tour uh, next next summer. Going to we, Gran Canaria. We plan for episode 70. We'll be live in Gran Canaria. I cannot wait for that. I think I think it's going to be a close couple of weeks before it, where we're on like episode 58, and we've got like, <laughs> about, like 12 episodes. So a, daily, like a, a daily Power Hour. <laughs> so, Chris, how have you been since one hour ago? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm great. Yeah. So, uh, so, so, what have you been up to? I did a podcast. See, <laughs> should we review it? <laughs> Listen to the after hour. <laughs> well, we've got we've got so much feet content that's going to come out soon. Adam apparently, Dibley's... Biden's won. Apparently, breaking news. I believe Biden has uh, has won. Oh, really? See. Yeah. Where's, where CNN, have you seen proje- that? CNN has CNN has projected Biden as the forty um, sixth president of these United States. Oh yeah. Well, you, well, yeah, you know yeah what, I've just boys? seen that. Yeah. So you reckon it's weird that like where they go? Where were you when um, when President Biden was elected? <laughs> we were filming the Power Hour, of course. <laughs> yes. Breaking news on the Power Hour, as always. Yeah, Wait, Biden's this... coming with us. <laughs> we're going on tour. There's no way that we're not going to break this to everyone. They, they won't have heard it anywhere else. This is an exclusive nah, for the Power Hour. News. Exclusive content. Fucking hell. Yeah. Well, so... at least at least the orange fucking walrus is gone anyway. Yeah, well, if it's being announced on CNN, he's going to contest it, because he fucking hates CNN. Oh, yeah. So he's going to say, you know, it's, it's a travesty. He's going to dig in, isn't he? He's not, he's not going to leave without a fight, so uh, this one ain't over. But for now, officially, Joe Biden is the maybe guys, of the United States. Maybe, guys, at one of our pay-per-views, we could have Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. Oh, well, that that could be a real box office mover. We'll have to see about that one. Yeah. Sleepy we'll get him early on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Trump's got him in the sleeper hole. <laughs> <laughs> He's tapped out straight away. <laughs> well, you might yeah. be, you might get tiredly involved as the Oval. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, in the that was of Trump. That was the Power Hour fifteen. Should we do some cheeky URLs, Ross? Absolutely. First, before we wrap up, let's I think, do some. Um, I think I think that that wouldn't go amiss with it. So I I just like on a personal level, ladies and gentlemen, I just like to say. Massive thank you to everyone who donated to the Sober October. We'll talk about. I'll probably do a recap. Yeah, some, absolutely some, welcome, lad. Give you boys a week off. So, um, but I just want to say, yeah, you, you both of you both donated. So I really appreciate you doing that. We ended up raising one thousand four hundred and seventy-five pounds, which 
brilliant. To be honest, Yay! we were all, we were all we, honestly at the start we were like, if we raise a hundred pounds, we'll be made up, and we were all willing to just put that money in ourselves. So everyone's been really generous, considering like the year we've all had. Yeah, and yeah. That, I didn't expect anything like that at all. But that really that is it. that is still open. So if you want to if you want to round that up to two thousand, if you go on or even one thousand five hundred. If you um, go on to www.gosober.org.uk slash team slash stingrays, then, that's not that's not all the cheeky URLs you need. Then Ooh. next, if you go onto Twitter and you go on King Hannah Music, you go support Craig, and uh, go get, give their music a listen to. And if you go on a link, which I'm not going to read out because it's quite long, I'll put it in the, in the bio. Go uh, Go buy his album. Go buy the yeah, album. Yeah. I'll put it, it in. He's actually got like a special edition um, cream vinyl, which I've ordered. Yeah, I've so. ordered that as well. Who, who has a cream album? Not me. Yeah, no. So, not, yeah. Also, not you yet at the moment. Not yeah. you at the moment. So if you go on, I'll quickly say, if you go on kinghanna.inc.2 slash tell me your mind EPLG, but we'll put the link in the, uh, in the bio because you won't be able to understand what I'm saying. And then last <laughs> last but not least, if you go on Twitter at MNT Wrestling, give us a follow. We now have 23 followers. Yeah, we're tweeting out a lot more. 23, more 73. No, it's even better. We've gone up by 50. <laughs> go, go, go be our 74th follower. Absolutely. But anyway, thank you for listening to the Power Hour. Glen Chapel, Charlotte Church, Shirley Temple, Moxley. This is Real Gone Kid by Deacon Blue.
Yeah.